Hi, at the wheat picker this week, Alain is in my shop, Martin Parlon Bois. Today, we are going to test his bell saw against mine. It's a challenge. Before we can begin, I had a couple of challenges. And the most complicated one was to bring Maisa to Martin's shop. Maisa may be all made out of wood, but being completely in maple, I think it's even heavier than Martin's all metal saw. Lucky for me, I have nice big casters. Uh, but my challenge is not over yet. Martin only has one 220 volt plug and it's not the right socket. When he bought his thickness planer, the previous owner <laughs> used this non-standard plug. So I have to switch his plug for the one my Bensa was plugged into. And finally, we're ready to begin. 195 First observation. My Bansa is bigger than Martin's. I'm not surprised. Then we begin our first non-scientific test. We begin by squaring up an apple log. Here you can see that my saw doesn't lack power. It stays between 3000 and 4000 watts. It's super easy to cut this lug. After showing off with my saw, Martin tries it. And just to mess up our comparisons, he cuts a nail. Yes, you just heard it getting cut. But since my saw is super powerful, he continues to cut the lug without too much trouble. But no wonder, he wasn't really impressed with how great my saw is cutting. Just look at the nail that was inside the log. And just after that, he uses a brand new blade to try on his saw. Here we can see that his motor is not as powerful as mine. But nevertheless, it cuts pretty well. But it's true that his blade has never cut a nail. Now it's my turn to try his saw. But even with a smaller motor, it cuts pretty well. Not as fast as mine, but it's not such a big difference. Next, we switch blades. Here, I was sure it'd be the winner. Because to change the big blade in my saw, I need to remove the table. Yes, if you put a blade bigger than a quarter of an inch or so, the table has to go to change it. It's why 99% of the time, I leave my biggest blade on the saw and use my old saw with my smallest blade but we want to test small radius cuts on our saws. So we trace the shape of some bread saws and cut them. It's obvious here that my saw is on idle mode. Just look at the power. It's nothing compared to last time. Eh, I don't remember ever having done such intricate cuts with my saw. It cuts pretty well. I see that I could use it for that also, but changing the blade is still super long. And just like last time, Martin makes the cut on my saw. And I cut one on his. For wimpy cuts like this, his smaller motor also runs on idle. Okay, and to be honest with you, I don't know why, but his saw was a bit better for this kind of work. Uh, it hurts just saying it. But in the end, 
both handles were identical. So, in conclusion, <laughs> obviously, I wouldn't change the saw I built myself for an already made one. Uh, there's not enough difference to make it worth the price. And on top of this, I already have this saw. But if you go and check Martin's conclusion, uh, you'll probably have a different story. I'm sure about that. This was my comparison of my saw to one bot at the store. Okay, it's not too scientific, but we had a lot of fun doing it. And surely, not the same conclusion. I'll probably make another video with a fellow YouTuber eventually. But until then, don't forget to come back to the woodpecker. Woodpecker.